We did something that no one else could do before. We're bringing a breakthrough to the, the way that the rest of the world already flies. It's nice to be on the leading edge of something that could really change the face of aviation. It's one of those once in a lifetime experiences. It's even more rare to have that be a game changer in the industry. Being an aerospace engineer it really was an opportunity that I could not pass up uh, to be involved in something so revolutionary. This is the chance to build something that's going to revolutionize all the technology, all of transport, all of aviation. I think that's significant because they, people kind of overlooked, well, wait a minute, can we make a better jet? Yes, we can. We can make a better jet that's half as expensive to operate and half as expensive to manufacture. And I think that's exciting. We started out as a, uh, a small laboratory. Dr. Otto Lien is the way there, who believed he had a better way to build aircraft. Laminar flow is our holy grail of airflow, right? So it's the smooth, orderly flow of air over the surface. It is what we aim for. We are mixing, you know, fabulous aerodynamics. It's really about the outer shape of the aircraft. We call it the OML, outer mold line. And that's what produces fabulous laminar flow. Laminar flow is a nonlinear step function improvement in the technology. It was 10 years of very difficult labor of love work to build the Solera 500 and prove to the world we could build laminar flow aircraft that had exciting breakthrough performance. The Solera 500 is our tech demonstration aircraft. It was flown back in the 1819 time period to demonstrate pragmatic laminar flow. There was flight test data on the aircraft that showed incredible fuel burn, incredibly low fuel burn, and the laminar flow performance and that data was used to help refine all of our technology and tools to build the second aircraft, which is now called the Phantom. And that aircraft is a jet. It goes much faster. It flies at 51,000 feet. It actually has about a 62% lower fuel burn than aircraft it competes with. Those aircraft burn approximately 300 gallons an hour. Our aircraft burns approximately 115 gallons an hour. So it's a massive reduction in the fuel burn, and that is due to the science of laminar flow and a massive reduction in the energy required to fly. Virtuous cycle is the synthesis cycle of aircraft design. The virtuous cycle that we use, you take laminar flow, apply it to your design, and your drag goes down. When your drag goes down, your fuel burn goes down. When your fuel burden goes down, fuel required goes down. Smaller engines, smaller structure to support all that, and it starts to loop down that curve so you have a lighter, high-performance aircraft that still meets all the customer experience expectations. So there's really three great virtuous cycles. One is on the fuel burn, the second one is on lowering the manufacturing cost. And finally, there's a wonderful performance cycle here. Our wings are in complete laminar flow. They almost disappear from a drag perspective. We can actually make the wing bigger to, to perform a number of beautiful performance tricks. One is a bigger wing allows you to take off on a shorter distance or land on a shorter distance. That bigger wing with a lot less drag produces more lift and that allows you to climb much faster. But because it's in laminar flow, that larger wing allows us to take off and land on much shorter runways. That doubles the number of airports in the United States, for example, that I can fly in and out of. So it allows people to go direct more quickly, more often, and saves time and fuel. It really is a fabulous breakthrough in terms of the airport performance. There's pretty much two big miracles we've got to pull off with this plane. One is the laminar flow, right? And that's just an amazing breakthrough on its own. Two is we have no windows. It's a digital experience where we're piping in video from different points on the exterior of the plane into an interior video display computing system. You have these wonderful digital windows inside that we call supernatural vision. It's uh, experiential. And we think that's really important along with the voluminous cabin to make our customers enjoy the ride, think about what they need to get done along the way rather than how long is it taking. And you can experience it in our mock-up there in the flight deck demonstration lab. When you're inside of it, it's so much larger uh, feeling than aircraft of the same size. There aren't a lot of clean sheet programs in America. There have only been a couple in the last two decades. And we're probably the most exciting one in addition to affecting a huge breakthrough in the performance of aircraft. Everybody talks about a clean canvas. This is exactly what this opportunity represented, not just for the engineering or the manufacturing team, but also for my team. You hear a lot about digital transformation. We're a digital first company. We're not transforming into a digital company. We're starting out as a digital first enterprise. 
it's very rare to work on something that is start to finish and really see that full life cycle of the aircraft development and see that aircraft enter into service to really be the thing that people look back on in even 10 years, 15 years, 20 years and see that was the moment that everything changed. I think as we go forward, all aircraft will be built this way. The performance gains are just too great to ignore. Once this aircraft hits the market, I think everybody's going to have to change their designs.